Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create images using Playground AI Scanners. So first of all, open your browser, then go to Playground AI, go here. Now once you're here, first you will have to create yourself an account using your Gmail. And once you're done with that part, you will have to click on this button besides the create button and click on new canvas file. And once you're here, you can generate an image for yourself. But before that, we're going to change some settings. For example, the prompt guidance will be set to 12. The quality and details will be at 50. The seed will be randomized where the number of images will be at one. The sampler I will be using is the K Euler ancestral one. Now we come to the left side of the settings. In this side, we just only need to choose the filter and the filter I will be using is this one. this one the flat palette one and the next step is to just simply type in a prompt let's say uh teen age boy playing with his dog in a park on a sunny day with sun shining in the background click on control to center and it will generate damage for you so here it has provided us with a picture of a boy playing with his dog in a park on a sunny day now we're going to extend this photo and for that purpose you will have to place this generation frame just above the produced photo and type in a prompt Make sure the prompts you type in are somewhat similar to each other so that the AI generated a good picture. And what else is in a park? Let's say trees in a park. Trees in a park. Park on a sunny day with sun in the background. Click on control presenter. So here, as you can see, it has extended the picture for us on the right side by just typing in the right prompt and it will extend the image further if you want to. Let's extend this a little bit further. Let's say a bench in a park. Uh, just place it here. Let me move the picture a bit. Go back to generation. Place this here and type in a new prompt. Let's say a bench in a park. A bench in a park on a sunny day with sun in the background. Click on control to center and we'll extend the image. So here, as you can see, it has extended the image further for us. It has uh, put in trees in the park. It has also put in a bench and a teenage boy with a dog playing in the park. So you can even extend it further by just typing in the correct prompt and make sure the prompt matches so that the AI produces a good image. Like for example, on the left side, you can type in a prompt, let's say, of cars passing by beside the park. And you can extend the image further. Now you can save this image by just clicking on this button on the top left and click on file and click on save local copy. And it will save the file for you on your computer now this is very useful as you can use it on someone else's computer as well use it to share with other people as well now click on save now here as you can see it has been saved on my desktop now let's say i go to my files my canvas files and i delete the picture i just made right now I'm going to click on delete. Now I'm going to quit playground. I'm going to go back to playground. Playground. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to my canvas board. Click on this files button. As you can see, the file I just made 
is now deleted. So now you can use that save local copy to bring that from photo back to playground. So just click on this import canvas file and select that save local copy. Click on open and it will import that project file into it. So here you can see it has gotten us our deleted file back. Now keep in mind that uh, the prompt, the filter and the settings will not be saved in that local copy and they will have to be put in again. But if you click on that photo, you will get all the details related to that photo. For example, the prompt which were used in making that photo, the details of the photo, which model was used, which sampler was used, what was the quality, what was the guidance and what was the seed. So you can use that to your advantage. So that's pretty much it. And that's how you can use Playground AI's canvas for making extended photos. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye.